you know, hopefully, you know, you, you've had some, you know, you have, an, you have an idea. And I think, you know, one thing to keep in mind is just to write, you know, just to get the idea down there. You know, I think, you know, the first time you do this, you know, just try to get your ideas down. You know, don't pay attention to, um, you know, punctuation, um, um, you know, things like that. You know, ultimately, yes, we will, you know, you will need to edit and, 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 um, and um, you know, but at first just worry about getting the ideas down. A couple of things to keep in mind about editing. You want to avoid passive voice. Um, you know, hopefully uh, you're familiar with what that means. Um, another thing you want to uh, pay attention to is excessive punctuation. I think it can be incredibly distracting, um, you know, uh, for, you know, for, 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 for the readers. Um, dangling modifiers, again, hopefully something else you've learned uh, in, your, uh, in, your, in your English classes. Uh, uh, you know, if you Google examples of these, I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to, to figure out what they are um, if, you, if, you're not, uh, if you're not yet. Um, another thing, wordiness. I mean, you know, I mean, this kind of goes back to the 650 words that I was talking about, you know, through the editing process, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get rid of wordiness as you, as you move down to uh, 600 and, uh, and, 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 50, and, and, and 50 words. Um, so in terms of, you know, you, you know, once you finish editing and, um, you know, you, you want to get, um, you know, you, you want to read it aloud. And you I mean it's not necessarily a matter of you know you know finding corrections in terms of editing, but I mean you want to read it aloud to yourself because at the end of the day, I think you know hearing hearing you know hearing yourself you know hearing your own writing in your own voice you know you should feel comfortable you know if for some reason uh, you know you read it aloud to yourself and it just feels off if you feel like it doesn't sound like you um, something's something's not right there um, you know ultimately I mean you want your essay to be authentic you know. Um, you know, want it, you wanted to, you know, to, you know, you know, really kind of, um, you know, have it come, have it come from you. So if you read it aloud to yourself and, it, it, you know, and, and you say to yourself, this, this doesn't quite sound like me. Uh, I mean, I, I think you may have to, you know, you may have to, um, you know, approach it, uh, uh, approach it a little, a little differently. Um, another thing to keep in mind is, you know, feedback. Uh, I, I'm sure your parents, uh, you know, older brothers and siblings are ones who are going to, you know, help you with this I would limit uh, the number of people that you that you uh, you know that you that you uh, get feedback from you know there's a saying you know too many chefs spoil the broth and I think at times you know students you know they get pulled in different directions you know one person tells them you know one piece of advice another person tells them another piece of advice you know their English teacher tells them to you know to do this and their parents you know says to do that so I would identify a few people that you trust you know, a few people uh, whose opinion you really, 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 really value and, you know, get feedback from that, you know, maybe two or three people, uh, no more than that. Because I think if you try to, you know, get feedback from any more, you know, it's just going to be really, really confusing for you. So, you know, get feedback, you know, from, from a few people and be amenable to their feedback. I mean, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, they may have some insights about you that, you know, you might not be aware of. I mean, ultimately, you know, we, we all have blind spots. So it's important, you know, to, to take their feedback seriously. I mean, yes, it is, uh, you know, your essay at the end of the day. Um, but, you know, you should, you know, you should listen to what they say. I mean, you certainly don't want them to write passages. You know, you certainly don't want them to write the essay for you. I mean, that is definitely a no-no. And I think schools are really, really good at kind of figuring out, you know, when someone else has, 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 has done that. So that's definitely something you want to avoid. Um, but certainly get feedback from people that um, that you that you trust and who know you who know you well.